I've got the DHCP role installed in my 2019 failover cluster. I've got two different nodes that are running DHCP. Now, uh, my issue is that sometimes we have a server that goes down, and when that happens, it automatically fails over to the other server. However, let's say in this case, file server one, we have file server one as well as file server two. If file server one goes down, it fails over to file server two. Let's say we don't want it to fail back to file server one after file server one comes back up. Why would we not want to have it fail back to server one? Well, it could be because file server one is acting erratically and it could be going down, say, every hour or every day, something like that. And we just don't trust file server one enough to retain that role in case file server one gives it to file server two and then file server one comes back again. So that's one good reason for not wanting to do a failover. You may have other reasons as well. So we can keep that fail back from happening uh, after the original server that was hosting the role comes back up. And we can do that by double clicking on the server itself and we can click on failover and you can see the option to prevent failback. We can also choose allow failback, but we can change the allow failback so it happens uh, after a certain amount of hours. So that way it doesn't happen right away, just in case it fails again. We also can say who is going to be the preferred owner. So in this case, we could say file server one or file server two. You generally don't want to select both of them if you only have two nodes. But if you have more nodes than that, then you can certainly select more than one node and feel OK about that. So let's say that file server one is currently the owner of this and we're going to prevent failback. So we'll click apply. So that means when file server one goes down, file server two will pick up the DHCP role. When file server one comes back, it will not take it back. And that's how we do that in a 2019, uh, failover cluster Windows Server. It also works in older versions such as 2016 and 2012. Check out the playlist for other Windows cluster videos to help you out.